All right, so all you K20 Pro users out there, welcome to another video. And yet again, we are talking about an Android 12 base ROM. Now, this time we are talking about the hotfix update of Ancient OS, which was tested by Sanat. So a big thanks to him. He's given me all the statistics and all the information that is needed to review this particular ROM. I flashed it this morning and I have played around with the customization and all the options and features that this particular ROM has to offer. So before we get into the complete review, please subscribe and hit that notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. If you think you like chatting with like-minded people, join us on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook and Telegram. You can follow us with along like-minded people over there and chat and get some help as well. Last but not the least, if you think the hard work is worth the effort, please click on the join button and support the channel. Now without further ado, hello awesome people, welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. All right, so right off the bat, let's see what we have here. Hotfix Ancient OSP Raphael S Beta. Ancient OS 6.1 Beta Hotfix. Android 12 updated on the 5th of December 2021. You do have the vanilla version, which is 740 megabytes, and the G Apps variant, which is 1 gigabyte. Now the GApps variant is the one that we are using over here. You do have a support group and you do have a source change log. Now, as expected, the source change log is going to be huge. So I'm not going to go through the complete change log. You can, you know, go to this Telegram link or you can pause the video and have a look at it. But there are some important notes. It says always make an Android backup be safe. This release is a hot fix with telephony services fixed. So there was some issue with the telephony services. The ROM is based on Android 10 MIUI vendor and perf kernel. So Android 10 vendor means this ROM will hit less and perform decent. SE Linux is permissive. It is not enforcing yet. So that is one thing you need to take care of. Now let's go back to the home screen. Now let me tell you a couple of things which are really, really important. First of all, off lately what I've started doing is I've started restoring data using Swift Backup because it takes a lot of time to format a device and set up everything from scratch from the Play Store and then log in and then test things. So all the videos from now on will have Magisk root access. Based on what the developer has to say about safety net, we will be following that, right? Now, for this particular ROM, safety net does pass by default, but because I have rooted it, it does show failed. So consider that. And the moment you boot into this particular ROM, you will see that you have a very beautiful wallpaper, which is a part of the Google's curated culture series. And it looks really, really great. Now, one thing that really amazed me as far as this ROM is concerned is that the smoothness and the customization on this particular ROM is just amazing. It's, it's just around a month back that we did not have a lot of customization for Android 12 based ROMs and look where they are right now. All these things that you see over here, you know, the status bar at the top, the different customization, these quick tiles looking different, the time at the center, all these things are customizations from ancient OS. And they really, really give you an opportunity to make your device feel and look different, right? Now let's get back to the basics first. The moment you boot into the ROM, you're greeted with a very, very basic home screen very very few applications over here these are the few applications that i have installed otherwise this rom boots just with the play store there are no other applications it's extremely deep loaded and that really helps to the smoothness that you can achieve in this particular rom to the left of course you have google feed which works absolutely fine no problem whatsoever no stutter no jitter and that's always a good thing now apart from this if you swipe from the top to bottom you will see that you have a ton of quick tiles available you have a power menu shortcut over here, which does have advanced reboot built in. If you go to settings from here, there is no lag, no stutter, no jitter. You can go ahead and edit these tiles and add a few tiles of your own choice. For example, if you drag this, you can have screen recorder, mic access, camera access, dark theme, caffeine, ambient display, sound, heads up, CPU info. Just look at the amount of options you have in the quick tiles. Some of them are from Franco kernel manager, which I'm using. But most of them are built into the ROM and they look really, really great. Now, apart from this, the moment you swipe completely down, you will see that you have the time over here, you have the date. These are not clickable though, but it looks really, really neat and really, really different. Now, press and hold over here, you go to home settings, you get a launcher Android 12 launcher. Now, that's another neat thing about this particular ROM is the launcher that it comes with. It comes with a hell lot of customizations. I am not going to go through each and every one of them because then the video will be 30 minutes long. So you can probably go ahead and have a quick look at the features that are available in this particular launcher. And it really gives you a lot of options to customize your ROM to the way you like to have it, right? Now moving on, you have widgets over here, your classic Android 12 widgets working absolutely fine. And then when you go to wallpapers, you have live wallpaper picker, photos, wallpaper in style. That's what we are going to use. So if you go to change wallpaper, 
you go to on device wallpaper there you go that is just one wallpaper that is available it's really a little weird double tap on top third and bottom shortcut okay these are shortcuts but i will tell you this monet ui material u working absolutely fine no problem whatsoever the accent colors just get blended really really good now next up the multitasking menu the moment you go to the multitasking menu you will notice that this as well is really really smooth your screenshot option is present and it works absolutely fine you have expanded screenshot as well so no problem whatsoever if you tap here you have split screen and app info so all those ad advanced android 12 features are present and they work absolutely fine now this does come with google camera go which does a decent job of clicking pictures now next thing let's go to settings where all the interesting things are happening first of all if you go to the android version that is android version 12 let's see where we have it so if you go to the Android version over here, you will have your Android 12 Easter egg, which enables uh, another Easter egg and all those things are usual. They work absolutely fine. No problems with accent colors, November security patch, all good things. Now you do see that the SE Linux status is permissive, but you do see that this particular settings menu looks way different compared to the stock uh, Android 12 look. So you do have sort of a curve over here at the top. It says ancient lover. You can go ahead and, you know, edit the user and say, I want to make it phone. Say, oh, is that a bug over here? Let's see. So edit this. Let's type in P-H-O-N-E-O-P-S and hit OK. Okay, so the text over here is sort of not visible. Yeah, so let's type in phone ops. Basically, you can put in your name there, as you can see. So you have network and internet connected apps and devices, notifications, battery. Under battery, you do have thermal profile. So you can go ahead and set the thermal profile to say benchmark for Antutu. And you do have the 180 hertz touch sampling rate which is really, really good. So it does come with all the bells and whistles, even as far as performance is concerned, right? Now, if you talk about the battery usage over here, we've been on battery for two hours. We were not at 100%. I'll share the battery using charging in a bit. We have the screenshots, right? Now, moving on, you do have your basic functionalities available over here. You have passwords and accounts. You have safety and emergency. You have security. And over here, you don't have face unlock. You have fingerprint unlock which works smooth as butter. Remember, this comes with the UDFPS implementation. And if we actually go to ambient display, let's go ahead and enable ambient display over here. So search is at the bottom. So ambient display, lock screen, always show date and time info. Okay, let's see here. There you go. Right. So it's working really, really well. Even after extended periods of time, it works really good. Nothing to worry there. The way the new ambient display is customized or, you know, designed is that if you are on, say, always on display, you press the fingerprint, it will first light the screen up and then it will open the screen. So the fingerprint scanner is working absolutely fine. You should absolutely have no issues with that. Apart from this, if you go to sound, at the bottom, you do have the direct sound enhancer with hi-fi. So those features are working fine. Now, these are the basic things that you will probably see in each and every custom ROM based on Android 12. But if you go over here, you will see that these are the customization options of ancient OS. Now, I really want to go through each and every one of them, but as always, you know, that will make the video extremely long. You do have stuff like quick setting customization, buttons, power menu customization, then you have gestures. So you have three finger screenshots, which works absolutely fine, including scrolling screenshots. And then you have the navigation bar, lock screen customization, notification customization, animation. So if you see over here, I've configured it to work something like this. So all these basic customization options are available over here. Further, if you want to, you know, talk about UI customization, you go to this particular menu. They've not named it, but can you see this? That's a lot of customization and that's what I've done. So ancient UI clock style, you can select that. Over here, you can have different types of status bars. Say, look over here at the top, it keeps changing. So let's say something weird. Do you see this? This is so different. There you go. So you can have something loud, something basic, something like iOS. They have programmed it really, really well and that works absolutely okay. So, you know, these amount of customizations on 
Android 12 are unheard and unseen of. That's really, really good. But what really matters the most is not only how good the ROM looks and feels, how good does it work? That's where things like benchmarks, battery charging and battery backup come into the picture. So let's quickly go ahead and have a look at those as well. Right, so as far as the charging is concerned, it charged 53% in 54 minutes. So even if you were to charge from zero to 100, you would take like 100 minutes, which is one and a half hour, which is absolutely fine. And remember this was on the 18 watt charger. And as far as the battery backup is concerned, you will get around four to five hours of screen on time. That is excellent for an old device like this. Now, if you talk about benchmarks, the CPU throttled to 93% of its max performance and the average score was 185.486 GIPS with a maximum score of 194.024 GIPS. So that's excellent. And if you talk about the Geekbench numbers, 697 single core, 2525 multi-core. So not only the performance is great, not only safety net is passing, Ancient OS as a daily driver is doing a brilliant job with a ton of customization, things that you would not imagine that you would want to customize, but those things are present over here. Now, let me tell you a couple of unique bugs that uh, Sanat mentioned. If you lock the screen, like if the phone is sleeping, if you unlock it, you look at the time and unlock lock again, you see the screen goes bright. There you go. It goes bright for a second and then goes normal. So it's not a big bug, but sometimes it can be annoying in dark areas. Another thing here is if you reply to message and WhatsApp notifications from the notification bar itself, sometimes the system UI restarts. So those are the two bugs that we noticed in our testing. And apart from this, you know, I didn't really see a major problem with this particular ROM. Fingerprint is fine. There are no random reboots. You can install a G cam or ANX camera of your choice and you can call it a day. All in all, the latest ancient OS for the K20 Pro is doing a brilliant job. The gaming experience is pretty great. Let me know in the comment section what do you think about this particular ROM. Until the next one, this is Kalash signing off at Phone Ops. Keep smiling. Take care. Goodbye.